I hope this comes out properly. What's up guys, Freeman here, welcome back to another video. So, um, I kind of suck at doing videos back to back because my arm gets really, really tired, especially if I've been doing too much, um, too many retakes, which the last one was a retake. Freaking nearly lost these Ray-Bans, man. I spent the last 10 minutes just rooting around looking for them and thinking, oh shit, that's like 70 quid down the drain. Um, but yeah, found them. So today, it's currently enough up day five. I kind of like sitting down and talking. I need to do this more. I'm in freaking nature. Why not? Why not get comfortable? Oh yeah, that's why. Because the mic is, the mic is going to fall down. Um, so today I am going to be talking about why it sucks being attractive, and some of the common misconceptions and some of the common stereotypes behind people who are attractive, and the differences between an attractive man and an attractive woman, and how being an attractive man actually kind of sucks sometimes. And um, so. For the longest period of time, and I'm not ashamed, well, for the longest period of time, I was really, really ashamed about talking about, you know, being attractive. Uh, growing up with a very big guilt complex, I often thought that you should just be average, that you shouldn't acknowledge your traits, you shouldn't uh, acknowledge your strengths. And it wasn't just that. It was, I took a long time to acknowledge my, 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 the fact that I was smart, the fact that, you know, I have good humor and all this other stuff. And um, among one of those things was, 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 was attractiveness. So I was in denial of that for the longest period of time. And even to the point where when I was, when I was starting to go 17, 18, 19, and I started to really quote unquote blossom, and I started to get more looks, I thought that the people who, that the women who were looking at me thought that I was ugly. I was literally like that messed up to the point where I would be on, on trains and just being like, why is she looking at me? What, stop looking at me, what's going on? And even wishing that I had a freaking bag over my head. You know, I hated the attention that I was getting because I was interpreting it negatively. And um, that may seem like, oh, you know, that's just, you know, silly. But for the longest period of time, like, people think that, oh, I must have had it easy. No, like, for, long, for most of my teens and well into my 20s, I pushed people away simply because I thought that the attention that they were giving me was because they saw a flaw in me. And um, I wish I wasn't. You know what I mean? I really, I, I, I uh, really, really hated it. Then as you go on, people also start to put expectations on you. And people start to say, oh, because you're attractive, you must get this, 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 or because you're attractive, you should behave like this. And when I was young and very impressionable and just wanting to fit in, um, I noticed that people would make comments about, you know, why is he single? Why are you single? Why are you single? Because back then I was, I was jacked, like really jacked. And so um, people are you know, asking questions. Now, normally, not right now, I just say, you know, because I am, go fuck yourself. But back then, I would deliberately force myself into relationships that I didn't like, or that were just too forced. And then eventually broke down, simply because I didn't want to be seen single. And um, I would hate to be around, walking around alone, because I was imagining that people were thinking, oh, why is he single? He's so attractive. Why isn't he with, 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 with other people? Now, again, I'm shamelessly saying this, because for years, I was like, I shouldn't talk about this because there are other people, that, you know. But I, what I realized is that I really do have to shine a light on a lot of people who really think that it's just a fucking get out of jail free card. It's fucking not. Now, if you're a woman, it's, to, it's a bit different. Um, if you're a woman, then you do get a lot. You get a lot. You know what I mean? I mean, you do get a lot of female pressure if you are an attractive woman and, and if you're not from someone. A lot of the sisters will sort of be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that, blah, 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 blah. So they have a whole different set of pressures. But by and large, it's way better to be an attractive woman than an attractive man. And this is just attractions, let's not talk about like, it's better whether or not it's be better to be a man or a woman, just in this isolated case. And um, so I was looking at loads of people who were getting into relationships and I was looking at all these people and I was feeling like, there's nothing wrong with me. You know, there's nothing wrong with me. Why can't I, you know, pin someone down? You know, there are people approaching me, there's all this, there's all this. But I just had such a massive fear, fear of intimacy that it doesn't matter how many people approach me. It doesn't matter how many looks I get. It doesn't matter how many smiles I got. It doesn't matter any of that shit. Because I was so afraid of people getting close to me that, oh, couple squirrels. Um, I was so afraid of people getting close to me that I would just push them away. So it really, it didn't matter. It really, really didn't matter. And th and th this is the point that I want to drive home to people is that like, just because you have a trait or just because you, ha you have a positive aspect, doesn't mean that everything that comes with that positive aspect actively happens. It's like if you've got a musical talent, but, 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 but you don't practice, it's, it's fucking useless. So then to turn around to that person and say, oh, you must have had it easy. It's like, you mate, you have, you have no idea. You have no idea. Like, I am just the same as any other, like, ridiculously horny Cheetos super overweight nerd. In fact, the Cheetos super overweight nerds were getting, like, way more than I was back in the day. Like, I don't know. From, like, early teens to, from teens to 
early 20s. And again, like when you look back at it, when you're older, it's like, who cares? You know what I mean? Who cares? But I'm just putting you in the mindset of when you have all those insecurities and you're a lot younger, that fucking eats you up inside. You know, that, that's just, that just eats you up inside. And people would assume and make assumptions and put me in situations where they would expect me to ex behave or act a certain way. And then when I didn't, they'd be like questioning if there was something wrong with my sanity, wrong with my mind, which there was, let's face it. But for example, I'd be out with some friends and they'd say, yeah, you know, just go and, go and talk to them. No, no, go and see, she's flashing, go on, go on. And then I'd have to be like, I, I don't, you know, that's not me. And then it's like, why? Like, dude, you can, you can, you can do it. Like they're already looking at you. They're already putting their hair and flashing flash their eyes. Just go do it, go do it. I mean, we can't do it because we're fugly. It's like, you know, it's, it's just stupid shit. And it's just like, it's just like, it does convey a lot of responsibility. And this is what I learned as I got older is that being attractive does have a lot of responsibility because I can snap a woman's self-esteem like that. You know what I mean? If she's not all together, if she's not an all together woman who, who knows herself, which is quite rare, I can really fuck with them. Just by withholding my attention, just by showing a bit of attention and then just like turning my nose up, like figuratively speaking, I can just tank her self-esteem because nothing is more of a self-esteem crusher than having an attractive guy who you're into get into you and then just peace out. Just peace out. It's like, you know what I mean? And that's not after sex, it's just after a conversation or maybe after a dance or whatever. Just bye, see ya, all right, I'm gonna find someone else. Because they start to question themselves. And that's why I say that like, you know, goes back to my previous point is that women are 10 times more afraid of rejection than men are. You know what I mean? There's this common, women have this mystique of being like, oh, you know, loads of guys can just walk up to her and talk. Maybe if she's with a group of friends, she'd feel a bit more bold, more bold. But if she's by herself and like a really hot guy walks up, she's way more terrified of you than, he, than it is, than it is, but she's way more terrified of you than the other way around. Um, simply because when you insult, when you, not insult, when you say that a woman is not a good sexual match, so I'm just gonna check the timer. I always have to keep an eye on this. I've done so many fucking retakes. 10 minutes, good. Um, when you reject a woman, or when you reject a man, for example, there's a lot more that a man can do to prove that he's quote unquote worthy. Say you reject a man because he does, he's not big enough or he doesn't have enough muscle. You can get that back. Say you reject a man because he's covered in pimples and his skin is bad. You can change that. Say you reject a man because he just doesn't have enough money. You can change that pretty easily. Whereas when you reject a woman, because men's tastes are less, I wouldn't say refined, but there's just less, there's less checklists. If you reject a woman, she's like, hmm, I'm already hot. What else do I have? <laughs> It's like, it's like a rejection on their entire character. Cause I think subconsciously they know that there's very little to do, very little they can do to change. If someone says, if someone rejects them, like, what are they going to do? You know, if a man rejects them, it's like, whatever, hit the gym, freaking work extra hours, like find a new job, do whatever the fuck, if you're chasing women. But it's way easier to do that because men on average don't care how much women, how much money a woman has. Men on average don't care, you know, um, Men on average, um, you know, you know, don't care if she's like super jacked or whatever the hell. She, you know, it's like, it's either it's there or it's not. And if it's not there, there's very little you can do to change it. Now, the thing is, is that there are a lot of women who are in situations whereby, and I, and I, I point this out a lot to those who listen, is that, like, look, you think you're unattractive, but like, you just got to sort your life out. You know what I mean? You'll lose the weight, your skin will look better and, and other stuff, other stuff. So there are a lot of women out there who can just transform. They can go from like a four to like a seven or even higher if they just took care of themselves, if they just, you know, did stuff. And, you know, men's checklist is like, is she not a psychopath? Okay, is she hot? Okay, all right, I'll, I'll take it. You know what I mean? For a lot of men, that, that's the case. And obviously, if you're wanting to start a family, if you're wanting to sit down, if you're a 45 year old man who wants to bring someone in, you know, okay. But even then, like you see these crazy rich old guys with these really, really young, hot wives. It's like, you didn't have to have that much. You just had to have looks. And if you turn a hot woman down based on her looks, it's devastating. And I've seen it firsthand because I've done it. I've just crippled. <laughs> I've wrecked so many. <laughs> I don't know why, but my brain is just saying to me, this is why you're lonely. Um, but yeah, no, it's, um, and it's crazy. Like as an attractive dude, you really have a lot of, and this is the pros I'd say, as an attractive dude and responsibility, you have to sort of be aware that your your reactions are to and and like your actions around around an attractive girl will be interpreted sometimes completely differently. 
You know what I mean? You can do things that may seem creepy to someone who's unattractive, but is hot to someone who is attractive. You know what I mean? Like, I can just go into a group of girls and just like, make a joke and then fart, they'll laugh. But if it's like Jabba the Hutt that does it, they're just like grossed out. You know, so there is a really, really, really big difference. And if you, I mean, this is why a lot of the MGTOW guys are just going to fuck, emo fuck women's emotions, you know, whatever the hell, but I am a bit of an empath. And though I joke about crushing women's self-esteem, it kind of sucks. And I don't do it deliberately. You know, I don't do it like, oh, I'm, I'm really going to fuck with this person. You know, it's just that I'm just really not into you right now. And she, it's like, it's like a blow to her whole ego. It's like, here's the stunning, you, I'm going to compliment myself. Here's this hot guy. Let me, let's face it. You know what? Fuck humility. I was going to put a nail in that coffin of humility right now. If I lose subscribers, I do not give a shit. If I work out and wear good clothes, I'm a fucking pen. There, I said it. Now I can, now I can not feel bad. I'm not going to drill at home. I, no, fuck it. I'm going to drill at home. I'm the hottest thing to grace this earth since the fucking sun. Deal with it. Ah, oh, God. Two subscribers gone. <laughs> also camera. Camera totally wrecked. My camera just toppled over with sheer hubris, at the, at the hubris of my statement. But you know what, guys? I acknowledge my strengths. I acknowledge my strengths. And I'm, I'm not fucking ashamed to say them. I'm not ashamed to say them. Whatever the fuck you're strong at, just sit there and say, I'm the best at this. Go fuck yourself. I'm the best at what I do. I'm the best at doing what I'm doing right now, whatever the fuck it is. You know, and so many dudes, they don't do that. And for the longest time, it's like the whole, the whole society and, and, the whole and the whole culture, you know, like, sits there and tells you that, like, no, like, no, you need to be, you need to be minuscule. And I mean, when you acknowledge your strengths, especially if other people confirm them, because let's just face it, I, I just, I walk through a crowd. If I'm wearing a suit, mate, heads turn, wives turn. God, even young kids turn. It's like, I, I've seen like, this is creepy, but I've seen like 10 year olds preen their hair at me. It's fucked up. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's fucked up, but it's like, I know, I can see, I accept. But for the longest period of time, I didn't accept it. And I'm thinking of all the other times in my life where I'm, I think of a crazily great like musical piece, or I think of something that's actually really good. And I'm just like, wow, this is really good, but I don't fucking acknowledge it. And so many people do that. So many people do that. They, they, they are blind to their strengths. And so they'll do something that they think is amazing, but they're still stuck in this negative spiral. They don't even fucking acknowledge it. They don't even fucking acknowledge it. It just goes over their head. And then they think about the next fucking negative thing to think about. And that cycle is needs to fucking stop. You know, it needs to fucking stop. You know, I need to say what I'm good at. I need to say who I am. I need to be fucking proud of it. And yeah, it doesn't mean jamming it down to people's throats like I'm a vegan, you know, or I'm a whatever the fuck diet. You don't need to jam it down people's throats. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's silly. But, you know, being attractive really isn't all that it's cracked up to be. It does come with, with, a, lot, with, with a lot of responsibility. And I will say this is that, like, there's all these common, like, a, a, any, any persistent stimulus becomes boring after a while. Any constant stimulus, the brain dumbs down. So yeah, if you're attractive, you'll, you'll have lots of sex. You get bored of it. You get bored of anything, everything, anything, everything. So it's like, yeah, you're attractive, great. But you can get bored of sex quickly if you have it fast enough. So then what? You're attractive. Okay, good job. That's it. That's it. That's literally, it's literally just people who don't want to accept that they have a very unique hand and they're trying to play a hand that is not theirs at their life and failing at it instead of fucking accepting it and doing something about it they're looking at people who 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 they perceive to have advantages and then putting all these fucking assumptions on them you know what I mean? it happens all the fucking time and i mean i get it i understand i understand even i do that even i do that you know, I, I can do that sometimes with i used to do that a lot with fucking rich people you must have everything together I like, no 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 one has their shit together just quick check on the Oh my god, 14, 15, 16, 17. I have to make sure to edit that and I am not losing these sunglasses. God damn, not again. Literally, you put these down, nature will just swallow them up like a leaf will blow over it. Just a single leaf or obscure half of it and it's invisible. My god, I'm going to put these here. That's good. That's good. Sit right there. Um, and like, you have to acknowledge your strengths. If you don't acknowledge your strengths, you're going to keep going through your life. Perceiving that there is some sort of a gap between where you are and where you need to be. There is no gap between where you are and where you need to be. There is none. I wake up every single day and I freaking, without fail, I will come to the realization, yet again, I am the one that I was looking for. And that's not some spiritual, I am my own savior. No, I have all the fucking skills to accomplish it. I just don't. 
They literally, I just don't. Like I can give all these reasons for self-sabotage and self-confidence, I just fucking don't. Bottom line, I just fucking don't. You know? You, uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's crazy. You know what I mean? It, it is absolutely crazy. So sort of going forward, you, you sort of just have to look at where your strengths are and stop trying to play someone else's hand. You know, play someone else's, you know, looking at someone and saying, okay, you know, they have all this stuff. Therefore, they should be a million times better than what someone else should be. You know, they, ha they should be a million times further on if only I had what they had. You know, goddamn. Chances are, if you had what they had, you'd be in the exact same situation. Because if you understood what they had, you'd realize you really don't want it. You know what I mean? Most of the time. Yeah, it's, you know, and then you'll, you'll look at what you can do and you'll see like, why would I want to imitate someone else? You know what I mean? Yeah, anyway. God damn, it's still only day five. Um, next few days, I'm probably, I'm not sure, I'm uh, pretty heavy work with the next week, so I'm probably gonna be cutting down the videos for a bit. But um, it's, I'm gonna try and do this daily, just like one, one at a time. But honestly, this, this flat line is, I'm just coasting on this flat line, man. It's fucking great, I fucking love this flat line. And anyway, that's all we say for today, guys. I am the hottest thing under the sun, peace. You know, the funny thing is, is that, I'm actually not. <laughs>